Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss the relation between a quotient, remainder, and divisor in the long division method. Now, the long division method is a pretty straightforward method, and those three terms, the quotient, divisor, and remainder, are all going to be terms involved in figuring out the long division method. So let's do a problem, and we'll t talk about what the terms actually mean. Now, suppose you wanted to find out want to take 25 and you want to divide that by 7 and you want to use a long division method. What you're doing is you're setting it up as a long division problem, 7 going into 25. Now, the one thing you want to consider is right away, the divisor is always going to be the denominator or the number that you're dividing by. So this thing here is your divisor. Now, the rest of the terms will come as they may. Now, let's talk about 7 goes into 25. You know 7 goes into 25 three times. Now. The start of the answer, the 3, is an example of what a quotient will be. So the quotient is going to be the number that you get after you divide. So after that, you take the 3 times 7, gets 21. You do the subtraction, and that's going to give you 4. So it's going to be 3, remainder 4. So obviously you know that the R stands for remainder. So when it comes to the relationship between the divisor quotient or remainder, they're all basically parts of the long division method. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the relation between the divisor, quotient, and remainder in the long division method.